Ahoy everyone, I'm Captain K. Recently, Battlestate Games introduced the Kiapa Revolver, 50 DS and 200D models. This video discusses the strength and weaknesses of both revolvers and will inform you on the best ammo to use for maximum efficiency. There will be a flesh damage testing segment as well. If you haven't seen my previous video, where we test 357 FMJ more in depth, I'll leave it as a card at the end. If you're interested in topics like these, subscribe to the channel for more. Buckle up, we're shipping out. Let's talk about how to utilize these two revolvers in the meta way. First off, you don't want to carry just one revolver. You want to carry two. That's right, two. The reason is because if you reload from the inventory screen on a weapon that isn't equipped, it reloads the weapon without the animation. Time is precious in Escape from Tarkov's fights, and you don't have time to reload. In this fight, you can see I quickly take cover, swap to my primary pistol, and then reload the secondary. Now, I want to point out that you don't have to bring a revolver, you can bring another gun. Just make sure that you're swapped to the other gun before you do the reload so you can skip the animation. It even works with your melee as well, so... Practice this and you'll be able to overwhelm your opponents with unpredictability. They'll never know when you're out of ammo. Speaking of revolver load times, is there a difference between the 357 load time and the 9mm load time? Let's find out. 200DS now? doesn't look like there's really a difference. Moving on, ammo is everything in Escape from Tarkov. Let's discuss the best ammo for 357 Magnum and 9mm. Revolvers aren't known for their long range capabilities, so we'll discuss effectiveness in ammo at a short to medium range. With the 200DS, we want a fair balanced round that can penetrate, provide good damage without added recoil. The trouble is twofold. 9mm isn't that strong and the amount of time to fire the T-100DS is so long that you realistically can't compete with late game armor. At best, you can guerrilla fight it, flanking from cover to cover like your Mel Gibson the Patriot. So realistically, craft AP 6.3 and PvP if you aim for the thorax, but it's not effective against level 4 armor, so that leaves flesh damage and leg meta. The best choices for that purpose is 9x19 Rip, Quake Maker, and Luger Seize the Act. However, Quake Maker and Rip have plus 10 and plus 20% recoil while Luger has no extra recoil but a balance of flesh and fragmentation. Here I'll show you a difference in grouping between 9x19 and Luger's CCI. This ammo has high recoil, plus 20. Interestingly, both have a pretty similar pattern, making sense that recoil doesn't make that much of a difference if it involves automatic fire. Unfortunately, 357 doesn't fare much better than 9mm. Until we get some sort of penetrative AP round, the best 357 round for armor pin is 357 FMJ, which has 35 pin value. Although it's cheaper than 9x19 PvP, it can't penetrate past level 3 armor reliably. This means leg meta is necessary. The question I had is, is it better to leg meta with 9mm or 357 Magnum? So of course, I bring a couple of folks from my community and we test it out. If you aren't using 9x19 PvP, you aren't able to reliably penetrate past level 3 armor due to the pen values being as low as it is. So that leaves leg meta, and in this first test, we can see it takes 7 rounds for 9x19 Luger's DCI to the leg. That's over a full cylinder. Yikes. 9x19 Rip has an extra 32 damage, which should make it at least one less round to kill. We can see this as my testing subject folds like a tape under five rounds. 9x19 Rip Part 2 tests again at a solid five rounds. So let's move on to 357 to compare. For the first 357 Magnum Hollow Point test, it looks like it's a solid five hits to the leg. No! For a round with 99 damage, it kills with less than a full cylinder, but the time to kill is too slow for any in-game players. Pretty sus. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna save you for last. Let's give 357 Magnum Soft Point a try. With a value of 108 damage, it should take a similar amount. So we have one, two, three, four, and five shots. If Soft Point has a 20% frag chance versus Hollow Point 60, Hollow Point should be the better round in the long run in theory. Here's 357 Magnum Hollow for round two, and it takes One, two, three, four, and five shots. In this case, I recommend it using hollow point in favor of soft point because on paper, the extra 40% fragmentation means more chances for extra damage. 
357 Magnum and 9mm currently perform similarly against armor and flesh, but there is a big difference between them. That is, price. You don't want to pay more for the same performance, do you? 357 Magnum soft point is currently 105 ripples around, and to get the same performance as 9x19 rip, it will cost you around over 6 times the price for a round of 9x19 at the current market price point. You can craft the ammo with a level 3 workbench, 1 hawk powder, and 4 bundles of wires which will cost you roughly half the price of the trader, but you still lose out on the profits if you sold it to the fleet. My final thoughts, bring 2 revolvers for the quick reload beta, use 357 magnum if you want to have a budget ammo performance, and aim for the legs versus anything over level 3 armor. Best in slot 9x19 performs similar to budget 357 magnum and neither are useful for long range and anything past level 3. Run from cover to cover, mag dump and the legs to win. That's my summary for this video. If you enjoy discussions like this, please subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. I stream every day on Twitch where I mostly play Escape from Tarkov, come drop me a follow there. As always, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this and I just want to thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. I got him. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Holy shit. Hold on, hold on. Damn it, I could not get the rounds off quick enough on this guy. You better just leave it right now if you know what's good for you. Is this your warfare? You should try better. Ow, he took my leg. Oh, I got him. Let's go. <laughs> And there's a guy down dead in uh, glass. Oh. Yeah, he threw a grenade at himself. Oh, he's got a whole M4 and he just gets smacked. GG's. I just killed a guy. What's on there? What? How the f is he shooting? What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna die. This scab is cheating. This scab is cheating. Look at him. Oh, he's such a cheater. What the hell? Look at the scab! Kill the scab! He's a demon! Oh! <laughs> what the f*** was that? I'm dead! What just happened? Oh, I think I just turned his head into a smushed watermelon. Guns to our heads! Ready? Three, two, one, fire! Fire! Oh! <laughs> oh, laid out. <laughs> Second shot, GG's.